guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. Today, I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my review of Moonlight, the new fragrance from Ariana Grande. This fragrance launched this year, 2017, and is Ariana Grande's fifth fragrance. So the box looks like this this time, and it says Moon on, like, the whole box is kind of cool. So, like, the front you got a ad promo for Ari, um, and it's kind of a, from what, um, I've heard I'm I don't pay attention a whole lot to Ari outside of her fragrances. Um, I'm sorry, but the front is a picture from one of her tour stops, and it's her performing the song Moonlight, I believe. Um, but it says Moon here, and the down here says Moonlight by Ariana Grande, Eau de Parfum spray, one ounce, thirty milliliters, and then as it goes, it says Light on the other side. So if you turn it like this. It says Moonlight, and then the same way this way is it says Moonlight. So it's the same, all four sides, um, to just two sides say Moon, the other two sides Light make Moonlight. Um, and then the top says Moonlight by Ariana Grande, if we can get that to focus. And it's all kind of like, all the words for Moonlight are in hollow, which I think is super pretty because I love hollow. Um, and I even pulled that into the um, ad promo that I did. And then the bottle looks like this this time. You've got like this lavender purple top with a lavender poof, and then you've got this iridescent like crystal colored bottle. So the bottle's the same shape that we've seen with all the other RE bottles, but this time it's just got like, it's hollow, but it's also like iridescent, and it's super pretty, and I, I'm, I just, I'm obsessed. I love this bottle. Um, notes for this fragrance, top notes are rich black currant, Juicy plum. Middle notes are fluffy marshmallow and fresh peony, with base notes of sandalwood, black amber, and sensual vanilla. So, the first thing I will say is this is kind of Ari's more nighttime slash slightly grown up. It's still pretty youthful, but still very slightly uh, grown up, slightly more floral. And this whole video is gonna be really weird because my light is deciding to be super weird today. Um, but it's kind of more floral, and it's a little bit different than her all her other ones, but it's still very, very similar. It still fits in the family, but it doesn't smell like any of her other ones, if that makes sense. Um, let me grab a little sprayer. When you first spray it, you get... You get the black currant and the plum right away. I definitely think the plum stands out slightly more than a black currant, but it's not, like, way more. They're definitely very much both there, and you can smell them both. Um... As it starts to dry down, though, that peony definitely comes out. You can smell the peony. You can almost smell the peony the moment you spray the fragrance. You get a little bit of black currant and plum for a very brief little bit, but then the peony definitely comes in, um, and it's definitely backed by that sandalwood. Um, but the peony and the black currant are there, and they kind of are both very, very rich, very fruity, very juicy, but they also are in the aspect that they almost make them slightly whiny. And I know wine is probably not even really a really word, um, but in Sweet Like Candy, we got a blackberry liqueur wine, um, and that doesn't smell like this at all. This is more actual, like, if you were to smell, like, a plum or currant wine, um, it definitely does have that kind of slightly alcoholic scent to it at the beginning, but it's more of, like, alcohol -y wine, um, but that's, I feel like, partly because of the peony as well. Um, as it starts to dry down, the peony is the standout. Now, the fluffy marshmallow that's in the heart is definitely more of a base heart than the top heart because the peony is more there, and as it starts to dry down, you can smell the, the peony, or the marshmallow. And I will say it is the same marshmallow that is in Ari, but it's completely different. So Ari, you can smell the marshmallow through mostly the whole fragrance. This one, you're not really smelling it throughout the whole fragrance. You're really only smelling it as it starts to dry down. And it's, you smell it and you'll you'll see what I mean by it. It smells very similar to that marshmallow note that's in Ari. Um, but the whole fragrance itself does not remind me of Ari indirectly. Um, as it starts to dry down, though, that sandalwood is kind of out there in the heart. So you can smell it. Um, but the black amber adds a slight warmth to this fragrance that makes it more nighttime. And the vanilla kind of just rounds up the fragrance with the marshmallow. Um, and I feel like that's a kind of a similar combination. But the whole fragrance is more floral than any of her previous. Uh, definitely more nighttime. This one's a little bit more sexy than her previous ones. But like I said, it's still pretty youthful. And I feel like this will appeal to a wider range of her audience. Um, it's not my favorite one. Honestly, if I had to be completely honest, this would be probably second to third 
um, least. I really, really like Sweet Light Candy and I really like Ari. And I feel like this right now is more battling it out between Sweet Light Candy Limited Edition and um, itself to be like which ones I like more between Sweet Light Candy or this. Um, definitely is a nighttime fragrance with it being moonlight. It is supposed to be directed t more toward the moon um, and nighttime. But the name for this fragrance actually came from the fact that um, Ari, when she was re re when Ariana was working on Ari and told everybody that she was releasing a fragrance, people thought it was gonna be called My Everything. But the one name that kind of got brought up a lot was Moonlight. Moonlight did get brought up a lot and she tweeted out I believe saying something along the lines of the fragrance isn't called Ari or isn't called Moonlight but it was a name that got thrown around and it was a fan favorite name and this fragrance is supposed to be dedicated more toward her fans and that's why she named Moonlight was because when she was working on Ari everybody thought the fragrance was going to be called Moonlight. Um, This fragrance I'm interested to see how it gets received through the media and like through like Ari fans because I'm really interested to see people's thoughts on this fragrance because I personally like it. I don't hate it at all. I personally don't actually hate any of Ari fragrances. Um, I do wear all of them. It's just this one isn't as appealing to me as some of her other ones. Um, and I just because I like the more fruitier and sweet and this does have a little bit more floral to it. So um, I will say it's probably one of her least lasting fragrances. Sweet Like Candy had an issue where like it was a really really good fragrance and it lasted on the skin for a really long time but after a while it became just a skin scent um, and you could smell it on your skin but you couldn't smell it much more than you just smelling it yourself um, and even then yourself would have a hard time smelling it. This one's very similar in that it does have a really really strong opening but does quickly fade to a skin scent. Um, lasting power, I would say about, you're going to get about maybe two hours out of high strength, maybe, if that. Um, but actual lasting power, I stopped noticing it on my skin after about six hours. So, um, definitely a nighttime fragrance. I feel like this is more of a fall and winter fragrance. Um, it's been ridiculous here. It's been almost in the 90s last couple days here. So, I haven't really got to experience the fall weather with this fragrance. And I would like to see that to see if it changes at all. But I definitely do like it. It's just not my favorite. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not quite sure. I have the one ounce, um, and I got the one ounce for review, so I'm not quite sure when the one ounce will be available to everybody. I personally ordered the 3.4 ounce from Ulta's website. Um, I thought about posting this review after I got that one so I could compare them for you and show you the differences. Um, but I really wanted to get this up for you guys because I know you guys, I, after I posted on Instagram, you guys freaked out. So I wanted to get this review up to you guys and didn't want to have to you guys wait until I got my bottle from Ulta. So, there you guys go. There is my review of Moonlight by Ariana Grande. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, Ada S. Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. And also visit my website, AmongTheStarsPerfume.com. Links are in the description as below. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye.